Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. I'm just on my hoverboard cruising around the kitchen and we have an amazing episode lined up for you guys today and if you stay tuned until the end we have a very exciting business announcement to make Angela and I. So today's episode is an area rug. We are cleaning it the wrong way on site in a customer's driveway no we don't have a fancy wash pit or rug washing facility but what we do have is a rotovac 360i with the brush head and it puts a whooping on this rug so make sure you stay tuned grab your popcorn um, get get uh, excited for it also we hit a thousand subscribers so you might see a whole bunch of commercials don't get upset folks every time you see a commercial just think Dan and Angela are making some extra money. So thank you guys if you, for taking the time to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below of your favorite part. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we are, first job of the day. It's a beautiful day in Southeast Georgia, 9 a.m. We got Cole on the workhorse. We're doing a um, area rug area rug and um doing it on site so doing it the wrong way first step we're going to vacuum it then we're going to put some uh soap free detergent or preconditioner on there and then we're going to crb it with our little 10 inch counter rotating brush machine sorry the van's little it's a little dirty and then we're gonna um we're gonna use the rotovac 360 with the brush head so should be a good video check it out Here we are on the first step, technically the second step, if you count the thorough inspection that we do prior to cleaning. Um, but really the first step, action step, the commercial vacuuming. Here we're using uh, the vacuum called the, the Workhorse. One of the big benefits of using that vacuum is that you can watch real time as the dry soil enters the canister. Of course, it doesn't have quite as good airflow or suction as the Pro Team. But we feel like it does a better job just because you can actually see the dirt going into the canister, meaning you're able to slow down on areas that are a little bit more concentrated of dry soil. And of course, again, I did mention earlier, this is the wrong way to clean an area rug. I only say that because I like to educate our clients and anybody who watches that the correct way to have any area rug professionally cleaned is to have it taken off site to a rug washing plant or facility where they're able to do a much better job of all the steps. So extracting the dry soil, um, the detergent, they soak it in a wash pit and they agitate it more effectively. Um, but on site, we're able to do a pretty good job, especially considering the difference in price. So just to pick it up and drop it off is about $100. And then I think most of the companies, the one we network with, I believe is uh, 2 or $3 a square foot. So it can get pretty pricey especially if you only paid a couple hundred bucks for the rug to begin with. But as soon as we're done with the dry soil removal or commercial vacuuming, we apply a soap-free detergent. And here you can see coal using an inline sprayer or uh, we commonly referred to as a hydroforce, but it's an inline sprayer where we use the solution line that's attached to the truck mount. This allows us to put down the solution at a much higher temperature than a pump-up or electric sprayer, even though both of those we do have and occasionally utilize, but whenever possible, we try to use an inline sprayer uh, just so we're able to put it down a little bit hotter. The hotter the solution goes down, the better it cleans. Now, as soon as we put down the detergent or the solution, commonly referred to as the preconditioner, we also like to agitate it in. We don't always utilize this step of our cleaning process, especially if we're going to be using the rotovac or rotary extraction with the brush head, as it does a really good job of agitation as well but uh, just for fun and also because we wanted to give this preconditioner a little bit of dwell time to work better we went ahead and used this tool which is called a counter rotating brush machine or CRB 
Uh, the first one we ever bought was a 20 inch model. This one's just a 10. And of course we have a 15 as well. And now we have two 10 inches as well. So they come in multiple different sizes. The only, I think the only one we don't have is a 17 inch. So that'll probably be the next one I buy. But really, really effective tool. Didn't even know this thing was around or existed until I'd been cleaning for about 10 years. And I remember the first time I tried one out, I was sold. Um, and we use them, not every job, but pretty much, I'd say 95% of the time, we, we use this tool. It's a very, very uh, effective way to agitate the preconditioner into what's called the face yarn or the fiber, the part you touch, the part you step on, the part we're trying to clean. Um, it really does a good job of kind of massaging that into the face yarn. Nice. I might do that for the, um, whatchamacallit, thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail, right? I mean, I'm in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we have to do some Photoshop on those biceps, though, so they don't look so small. In Cole's defense, he actually has been working out very consistently for probably about a year now, so he's, he's actually looking pretty good. I really love the fact that he purchased on his own he purchased those shoes you see there, which are very A1 Carpet Care color coordinated. And he was very proud to show those off. And we were very proud of him that he made that, that choice there. So this is obviously the uh, final step. Well, we did groom this rug afterwards, but we don't show that in the video. So this is basically the final, the final step, at least for the video here. And again, this is called a Rotovac 360. And we actually have upgraded this this particular one. We've got two of these machines, but this one's been upgraded with an attachment called a brush head. So in addition to having three jets and vacuum ports that spin around at a really fast speed, I should probably look it up because it would sound cool if I knew the actual RPMs, um, but it has brushes as well. So not only are we brushing with the counter rotating brush machine, but this tool here is extracting and agitating at the same time. And you can see just by this picture or this, this shot of the video here how much um, or how good of a job this is doing. I mean, it really does an amazing job cleaning an area rug. If you're going to cheat, do it the wrong way and clean it on site. Of course, it's much preferred to have it taken off site. It's just a lot of customers, if you give them the choice in price, as we often do, they prefer to have kind of the more affordable cleaning option on site versus having it taken off site. The exception being for folks that spent thousands and thousands of dollars on their, you know, natural fiber rugs like wool and silk. And of course we do have several clients with really high end rugs and, and those are oftentimes taken off site. And like I said, we, we network with a, a company down in Jacksonville that'll come pick them up, clean them and deliver them. And here I just kind of slowed it down to show you guys just how beautiful of a day. And this is a really nice neighborhood, too. I actually built a home here um, ten no back in 2005, so, wow, 15 years ago. And just sold that home back in 2015. A uh, little side note, I paid that $1,751 mortgage for 10 years and still had to bring $30,000 to closing. So, you know, when they say real estate's a great investment, that's not always true. But... Anyway, you can see there, Cole just kind of stayed a little longer on that one spot, trying to lighten that up. There were several areas of this rug that didn't come, they didn't come clean, didn't come perfect. But they were so much improved uh, that the client was very happy. And, of course, I did a really good job taking my time to educate the expectations so that the customer wasn't expecting a miracle. Because I've made the mistake before where people see some pictures on the website or some video and they think, that every job turns out really well and the truth is they don't so I knew by the type of fiber and this particular rug that we weren't going to be able to get it hundred percent so if I think I can get it from say a three to a seven I usually try to tell them I can get it to about a six um, so that we can exceed their expectations I usually prefer to do that versus oversell and then under deliver but either way I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch don't forget to mash the thumbs up leave a comment below of your favorite part and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel and you like this kind of content then please by all means be my guest and subscribe below thanks for watching nope that's good looks really good Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the one that goes with it. I mean, you d you detach it from there and then roll it up and then put it on the handle, but yeah. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of the video. And as promised, we have a very exciting 
business announcement to make. Um, it's actually a personal and business related announcement. Angela, take it away. No, thanks. Angela is pregnant. We're expecting another one. I know it looks like she just had a burger and an entire <laughs> box of pasta. And she did. But she's also pregnant. We don't know if it's going to be a boy or girl yet. But we should find out here shortly. So stay tuned into our channel to find out. There's one. We do know there's one. I was hoping for twins because Warren wants a little brother. Marilyn wants a little sister. I figured let's just get a twofer and go for twins. And by the looks of it, I thought for sure we had two of them in there. But nope, there's just one. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you posted. But we're real excited to be having another baby. Thanks for watching to the very end.